Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing amazing out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life throughout September 2023. I'm gonna pull for you a seven card spread to take a look at who you're dealing with around this time romantically. I'll get a feel on how they feel about you deep down, take a look at their true intentions, see if there's any you know, nefarious intentions, things like that. I'll take a look at their behavior towards you throughout September, and I'll also be diving deep into what's in your blind spot with this person, Pisces, meaning, what could negatively impact the connection with this person that you may have no idea is even an issue in the first place for the two of you. Whether you're doing something to sabotage it unbeknownst to yourself or your person is or something or someone external to the two of you seems to not want you guys to be together for whatever reason and is trying to pull you guys apart. If that's the case, I will do my best to find out what it could be, why it could be, if it could be, followed by your advice, so let's get nosy. You got a bonus card, we'll talk on that in a second. Spirit, please connect me to Pisces today in love for September 2023. What do we have for Pisces today? Who is Pisces connecting to romantically in September 2023? And can Pisces trust this person's intentions? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful water babies. All right, so you got three bonus cards, Pisces. The first one is the Knight of Cups, which is you, that's Pisces energy. The next one is the King of Swords, so some of you guys could be connecting with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you don't have to be. And then the first one that came out was the Two of Swords. Pisces, it looks like there is an incoming phone call that is heading towards you where you may have some hesitation surrounding it. Do I answer this call? What can I expect from this call? Should I just hit decline? And it's from this King of Swords. I'll clarify this um, person in a few moments after I get your other spread out. But this King of Swords person, regardless of gender, regardless of zodiac sign, is really wanting to talk to you. There's something that they really want to get off of their chest, they want to address, and you're the one with the choice to make on whether or not you wanna hear what this person has to say. You do have romantic love around you, Pisces. Your heart chakra is fully activated in the month of September, so somebody's making you feel really, really good. But you might have a decision to make and this person's waiting on you to do so. Okay, so let's see what your spread looks like and then I'll be able to see how this energy plays in, okay? The person that you're connecting to romantically, how do they feel about you deep down? We have the Hermit, major kind of a Virgo, and we are in Virgo season. Their true intentions with you in September. The Six of Cups. I see what's going on here. Did somebody... Um, get a little bit quiet on you and now they intend to return and you're over here like, oh, do I trust this person to come back in? I don't know. You know, it could have been like a couple days of being quiet. It doesn't have to be like six months, a year. But I am getting the sense that this person felt like they needed to pull back a little bit from this connection and now they intend to revisit this, come back towards you and um, they're hoping that you answer that phone call or that text or the email. Um, you've got a big decision to make. Whoever this person is, you're romantically open to this person. You, you like this person a lot. In fact, some of you love this person. You want to pursue this. But with the art depiction showing me you hesitating, there's a part of you that's like, I don't know. I do have romantic feelings for this person, yes, but can I count on someone that withdraws their energy from me from time to time and then feels like they can just pop back in and, you know, I don't know what to do. So we'll see. What is this person's behavior towards Pisces throughout September? The Three of Pentacles. This person wants to build with you. They want to work together. They want to work something out. Some of you guys met each other at work or through a mutual friend. I see this person working on the foundation of building something with you from the ground up and they're hoping that you will hold that blueprint and guide yourselves together, okay? So you got somebody that may have made an impulse decision to withdraw their energy. Now they would like to return. Their behavior is to rebuild. You've got some hesitation surrounding a message that they're sending you, but you are romantically open to them. How does Pisces truly feel about this person deep down? The page of wands, getting this message excites you. You're happy about it, but you're still like slow to answer the phone for some reason. I don't know if you're trying to like, you know, 
wait like 10 minutes so you don't seem as eager or you're really trying to contemplate whether or not you can trust this person you're in two different minds about what to do here with the two of swords picture the two swords like this all right um this is one sword and this is the other sword this is the sword that is with our false truth, like the Ace of Swords in reverse. And then this is the Ace of Swords in the upright, the real truth, the solid truth. You're in this energy of which, which truth is what, you know? Is this my person or is this not my person? It's like you're, you're in two different minds about which sword to pick up because whichever sword you pick up is the sword that you're gonna speak with. What are you going to say to this person, Pisces, when they, when they call you, when they text you? Are you going to tell them the truth? Or are you going to be like, oh, yeah, it's, it's fine that you took a couple days to respond to my text. It's okay. That's fine. Or are you going to say, hey, buddy, why did you take a couple days to answer my text? Why did you disappear on me like that? Because the hermit, I can't, I can't make up the meaning of the card. The hermit as feelings is a feeling of withdrawn feeling like they had to you know dip out for a little bit whether it's because they had a personal thing come up whether it's because they were feeling a little bit insecure about their feelings for you and they needed to dig a little bit deeper and do a lot of introspection and they didn't want any external influence on what they were going to decide on next um, or they just wanted some alone time and they might be you know someone that doesn't like to social socialize a lot but at the same time you deserve to get some sort of clarity when they do feel the need to like pull away a bit okay so even though this message is making you feel really excited page of wands because the page of wands is a is a message possibly an invitation out even though you're going to be excited you're still going to pause for a moment it's almost giving the energy of yes my person just texted me um should i respond yet or should i just wait it out let me let me think what am i going to say to this person should i tell them what i really want to say like hey or do i just want to like sweep it underneath the, the, the rug and just get back to talking to this person again. That's the energy I'm getting off of this Pisces. There's a part of you that is tempted to just, you know, say what you've been wanting to say, okay? But you don't want to like rock the boat because you're excited to hear from this person. You really are. This is someone that you were either newly starting to date, you were in the talking stage, or you guys were you know, romantically falling for each other and then out of nowhere, this person may have gone emotionally cold and detached with the King of Swords energy, but they wanna to speak to you. The King of Swords in the upright is a truth teller, so I feel like what they have to say um, is gonna be the truth. Now, what is in your blind spot with this person, Pisces? What do you not see that could be negatively impacting the connection? The Ten of Swords, that there is a betrayal you might be turning a blind eye to the fact that this person hurt you by withdrawing their energy or just being very recluse, very hard to get a hold of, very inaccessible to you. You know, you're, you're turning a blind eye to that pain because you like this person, because you care about this person and because them being here talking to you in September is all that you wanted perhaps from them, just to hear from them, to know that they cared. But at the same time, it might take a little piece of you day by day by letting this person come back in your life so easily without telling them the truth. Hey, that hurt my feelings. If you come back, I need to know that you're not gonna do it again. That sort of energy, all right? Because it, it feels like you're trying to like cover up a hurt there with a Band-Aid. Oh, you Pisces are so sweet, man. You guys really do just want to love everybody. What's the potential outcome for the two of you in September? The Queen of Wands, igniting that passion. You guys just have that spark. You guys have that chemistry that is undeniable. And it looks like it looks like you're going to possibly ignore that and just revisit the passion you guys have and hope that nothing like that happens again. There could be an age difference. What is your advice with this person? The Hierophant. Your advice is to not conform to anybody else's beliefs but your own. If this person is in alignment with your beliefs and desires and committed to respecting you in the relationship, go for it. But if you feel like you have to, you know, 
negotiate your own terms in a, in conditions of a relationship, then you know. I think you may need to commit to yourself more on this one. What's the overall energy for the connection, the Queen of Pentacles? Somebody wanting to mend this relationship. As you can see, somebody here is mending this quilt with that sewing machine, trying to bring st stability back to the situation. It's the energy of Pisces. Can we can we work this out? Can we just can we get back to what we had originally? I'm sorry that I went quiet. I'm sorry that I ignored you, but my intentions are genuine now. Can we just repair this and patch it up because it looks like a patch quilt okay so let me start clarifying again it could have just been two days of not talking to you and it was enough for you to be like well that stinks why would you ignore me you know it doesn't have to be that this person was gone a while or for some of you this hasn't even happened yet for all I know, at the start of September, you guys are chit-chatting, you guys are making plans to hang out, and then like the second week of September, this person goes quiet for a few days, and then the third week of September, they return. It could be just like that, because remember, this is for the month ahead, this is predictive, okay? It's still early. So, why is the Hermit how this person feels about Pisces in September? Could be connecting with a Virgo. And then I'll get the Two of Swords in a second. Why the Hermit? Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. And I got the Three of Pentacles right here. For some of you, this person may have withdrew their energy because of finances, because of work-related situations. It, it, feels, it feels like it was connecting to their 3D side. And now they're ready to return Six of Cups because they miss talking to you. They miss being around you. They miss hearing from you. They miss your beautiful smile, your voice. Something about you they miss. All right, so it feels like this person withdrew their energy for work-related situations because of extra money, and now their behavior towards you looks like they're gonna work things out with you after they've already fi finished something with their money. It feels money-related. It doesn't feel like um, th this person pulled away to connect to anybody else. Someone may have taken on more hours at work or something's going on here. I'll, I'll know more when I clarify their intentions. But first, I want to clarify this Two of Swords and the King of Swords. Why the King of Swords? Seven of Cups. Clarifying the King of Swords to the Two of Swords, I got the Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion. Someone was feeling overwhelmed and did not know what to do next, so the easiest thing was to get silent. It's the energy of silence feels safer to me right now than to tell Pisces, you know, what I'm dealing with. Page of Pentacles. Something that was money related. Give me another card on that Two of Swords for how Pisces is going to view this phone call or this text message. The King of Swords. It's like you're going to match their energy because it's the King of Swords sending you that message and how you're going to feel towards this is to be that King of Swords too where you're going to put your heart chakra on that bed of ice and freeze it up for a little bit and just use your head in regards to the situation. You're in this energy of, oh man, my heart gets me in messy situations all the time. I'm going to take my heart out of this heart chakra and put it in my ice freezer and I'm going to let it sit there and use my head for this situation before I answer their call, before I answer their text. I'm going to match their energy. You know, matching energy. King of swords, king of swords. Chariot, but you do want it to move forward. You, f you may feel like you guys can only move forward once you have this conversation. So it's like you are trying your best to not sweep things underneath the rug, okay? So I'm strongly getting that what can negatively impact your connection with this person is if you don't address it because then it may happen again. You've got to address it so that this person knows that behavior is not tolerated by you, all right? Clarify why Pisces is coming in as that Knight of Cups. Why the Knight of Cups? You're pursuing love. You just want love around you. You've got a big heart. And there's the Empress, Libra Taurus energy. Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups. You feel confused because you really just want to, 
to, to love somebody and to feel love. You love yourself unconditionally. I definitely see that with you coming in as this Empress Knight of Cups. You've got a lot of love for yourself, Pisces. But you feel like this person is really confusing you on what to do. Eight of Swords is you being in a mental prison. You know, really feeling restricted and limited because your heart already got involved with this person. And now you're like, well, that stinks. My heart already got involved. And now I, I don't know what to freaking do. If this person would have done this to me while I was not really sure if I liked them or not, that would have been a different story. But my feelings got involved and now it's really difficult to turn my back on someone like that like you're having a lot of troubles here and for some of you Pisces you might have a decision to make you might be talking to more than one person you might have two people around you so your feelings for this person calling you is the page of wands the page of wands is my you know Carlton dance card it, it always reminds me of someone that gets a message and starts to do that giddy dance that little yes you know, happy feet. That's what the page of wands feels like. Like, even though you're hurt about something, seeing their number show up on your cell phone still makes you excited. Still makes you excited, okay? Why the page of wands? Ten of pentacles and the page of pentacles. Pages are messengers in my readings and I'm getting messages written all over it. And you still feel like you and this person could have a long-term future together, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, someone may be going through a move right now and that could be why someone was, was withdrawing their energy. I feel like I got that for you recently, Pisces. I could have sworn your end of August reading, I picked up on a move for somebody. That No, that could have been you, that could have been you. And then there's the Two of Swords. When this message comes in, you're gonna be a little bit indecisive about it, a little bit wishy-washy. It's the energy of, no, I'm gonna answer this. No, I'm not. Yes, I will. No, I won't. I should, I don't know. So their intentions with you in September is the Six of Cups. And mind you, we're in Mercury retrograde right now. We just came out of Mer um, Venus in retrograde. Um, actually, are we still in it? I think we left it a day ago. No, today. Today's the last day of Venus in retrograde, I think. And we're in Mercury in retrograde. So both retrogrades bring in a lot of past energy, okay? Why the Six of Cups? The Four of Wands and the Devil. Now, the Four of Wands clarifying the Six of Cups as intentions, that's the intent to return to reestablish a relationship with you, whichever type of relationship you guys had pre previously, whether you were dating in a serious relationship, married, or getting to know each other. Their intentions is to return to reestablish something. However, it's got the devil attached to it, which is the energy of temptations, um, wanting what you can't have, wanting what you shouldn't have, overindulgence, it's third party energy, it's, it's lust, it's, you know, obsession, feeling codependent to someone's energy. This person has been thinking about you a lot. So what could negatively impact this connection for you and this person in September is the Ten of Swords. I feel like that's either saying, A, you not speaking up and telling this person, I don't like that behavior. You, you, you can't do that again if, if, if this is gonna work out. Um, or there's some sort of other situation that may have not come to an ending in somebody's life that may be why something is not unfolding the way that it should or could. Why the Ten of Swords? Nine of Cups and the King of Cups. Now, when I read the card in the challenge position, I like to read the energy in reverse. And the Nine of Cups in reverse feels like a very codependent energy, and the King of Cups in reverse is someone emotionally unavailable, someone very emotionally manipulative at times. Um, and the Ten of Swords in reverse is, you know, working on recovery. It's like you may be working on your recovery with this person when they come in, and it's like, oh, great. As soon as I stop thinking about this person, here they come. And that's actually how you manifest. That's actually how you manifest. The moment you stop thinking about it and just let the seed that you planted out into the universe do its thing, that's when the results come in quicker. It's when we're thinking about it constantly is when our manifestations are delayed. You know, so for some of you Pisces, you may have just finally went, you know what, I guess, it, I guess it's done with this person. I haven't heard from them in a minute. And then boom, this person knocks on your door, you know. Give me a card on that Ten of Swords. 
the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords, I feel like, is you. You came in as that King of Swords matching their King of Swords energy. So I feel like there's going to be a conversation. But you're being very discerning. You're like looking this person up and down to make sure that they're not like bad news. So their behavior towards you in September is the Three of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and Taurus. Why the Three of Pentacles? Nine of Swords on the bottom and Hangs Man, Pisces energy. So they're going to want to work together with you in September, but what's going to delay it is you. You're going to stop for a minute um, and gain a different perspective on this because you're stressing out about what's the right decision. Nine of Swords. Should I just let this person go or do I let them back into my life? Magician. So the potential outcome for the two of you in September is the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Whoa. The Ten of Swords in the upright. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Interesting. That's a horse of a different color. Pisces. Your confidence level is through the roof towards the end of the month. You are going to tell this person that you, you, you're not going to accept that behavior anymore. And it might be what is needed here. Because with the Ten of Swords being in the block, it's for what can negatively impact the connection. And then the Ten of Swords being in the outcome position. You're, you're, you're letting some sort of situation complete itself so it doesn't repeat itself. And that's great. That's great news. You're coming in as a very confident person and you're being very careful about something. You're telling this person um, that they can't keep coming and going from your life. Whether it leads to you guys still being together and working something out, it's up to, totally up to you. But at least you're going to get it off of your chest and, and not hold back and sweep it underneath the rug. You're going to tell them what you want in a relationship and what you don't want. I love that. Let me get more on the potential outcome. The strength card. Pisces, you know, having their strength to um, assert themselves. And then there's the death card showing me nine ghost kitties, which is all about change deaths and rebirths. So in order for you and this person to have what you would like to have with this person, you really got to stand your ground in regards to a situation so this, you know, doesn't happen again. You got to you got to let this person show you that they're going to change is what I'm feeling. Okay? Surrounding communication. If this person can actually uh, change their commu communication behavior with you, then I feel like you're going to still nurture it with that Queen of Wands energy, but you're not going to allow it to happen again is what it feels like. You're in this energy of, I like you, I care about you, but you can't just like go days without talking to me. You got to let me know what's going on in your life. You know, check in with me. Let me know what's happening so I don't have to like, you know. You're going you're gonna to let this person prove it to you with some serious changes. Anything else? King of Pentacles and the Lover's card. Okay. So you've got, um, you got a lot of love around you in September. And I feel like you're going to make a choice from the heart, Pisces. So let me clarify your advice. And with the Queen of Pentacles being the overall energy and the King of Pentacles being here, you may be open to mending this, but only once after... You speak your truth, Queen of Swords. You'll welcome a reunion, Three of Cups. Clarify their advice. The Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands and the Sun. Yeah, their advice is for you to uh, be assertive, hold your ground, and if this person's not willing to compromise with you, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Just move on because there's more fish in the sea. But you're going to get some clarity. There's going to be a huge sudden realization that this person has about you that you're not someone that's going to be a revolving door you know and I love that so I do feel like you guys are in recent no contact so I'm going to pull from my recent no contact cards and see more about how they feel about you right now and if you're not in recent no contact and you're still talking to this person but communication is kind of slowing down this could be indicating that this is about to happen and this is preparing you now for zodiac signs that came through this reading I have Virgo I have Taurus Libra Aquarius, Gemini, um, Cancerian energy, Taurus, I think I already said Taurus, um, and Scorpio. But it could be any zodiac sign.
to rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way. And if you would like to book a pirate reading with me, Pisces, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below this video. Also, I recently did the All Signs reading. Um, I'll link that in the description box below where you can just click on the Pisces timestamp and see how your person feels about you for the next seven days if this didn't resonate. And if it did, still check it out. I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. So you got someone that was confused about their feelings and threw themselves into their work and there was something about money. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. When times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? Yeah, this person definitely wants to see if you'll trust them again with your heart, but that's totally up to you, Pisces. Follow your heart, okay? Just make sure you stick stick to your truth, okay? So, I hope this reading helped. If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, and I'll check back with you in another few days for your weekly update. Later, Gators.